Listen, you guys are influencers, right? You don't know how to price yourself. You guys need to deserve a lot more. And today we're gonna go over how to price yourself as an influencer because you need to collect your coins. Bitch, better have my money. All right, if you wanna learn how to price yourself as an influencer in 2018, all you gotta do is keep on watching. What's up you guys? My name's Shade and welcome back to my channel. Day we're going over the highly, highly requested topic of how to charge money as an influencer. Actually, this is a sequel to a video back three days ago about how to work with a brand and how to work with an influencer. Today is pricing specific and I am so excited to dive right in. Make sure you don't miss a single minute of this video. At the very end, I will be giving away a DM script, what to say to brands and even your own guide. It's gonna get lit. A little bit of background. My name is Jade and I'm an entrepreneur and I'm here to help you grow on social media. And it's important to actually make money and monetize so you guys get the coins you deserve. The biggest problem ever is the fact that influencers don't know how to price themselves. They're literally giving away their service, their work, and you guys deserve a lot more than what you do. I just literally care about you guys so much. So this is why I'm bringing justice to this topic. If you're an influencer struggling to price yourself and you want to know more, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And hey, it really means a lot to me. Back to the video. We're going to dive right into the formula I made for you guys. I'm going to break every variable down. This is not some BS. Use Social Blue Book or any website that's going to tell you how much it works. There's a website called Social Blue Book. You've been raving it to me in the comment section. Someone was requesting me to take a look. It's basically a way for an influencer to find their price. <laughs> Let's see how much it's actually accurate. So I have actually never done this, so I kind of got an account. It's my values. Uh, $256 per upload? Oh god, okay. They, uh, um, hold up. I'm not sure where they're getting this math. I mean, I dropped that at school, but I'm pretty sure there's a difference between each brand. I think this is a great start, but um, um, I charge a little bit more. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of context. So when I look at a website like Social Blue Book and you guys are using it, I think it's a great start. But some of you actually have true fans. What Social Book, blah, 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 Social Blue Book doesn't tell you is how to actually map it out per brand and what they can afford. Maybe freaking Sally Gummy Bears can't afford two hundred fifty-six dollars per post, but Nike can. There's a difference between each company because there's a different value for each company. We're gonna skirt this away and jump right into what I mean. If you have a scale. This is gonna be a company owned by Sally Johnson. Now this is gonna be a corporation like Nike. They're not gonna hire some snappy wappy influencer to be their ambassador. What I'm talking about is when you get to a larger corporation, the value of an influencer is much more heavy. They're more selective and it's a huge risk for them if they don't take this into account. I will link below a video of how to price yourself by future. What it's basically saying is because there's a higher risk, you can charge more because an Brand doesn't want to mess up when you're branding on products, on pages. Maybe it's a collaboration for a product, especially when they put your name on a product. It costs a lot of money to make. Therefore, they're willing to spend more on you because there's more value to you. So you guys kind of see, it depends per brand. And a lot of people just don't know the value. They don't know their value, they don't know the brand's value, and this is why I created a freaking equation for it. And now, I'm gonna show you guys the magic formula. It's not much magic, it's very simple. You wanna find your KPI. Your KPI is typically your true fans, the number of people that actually listen. So when I think about true fans, I'm gonna write TF, my handwriting is very bad, I'm really apologizing. But when I think about true fans, I think these are the people that take action. You guys were curious, what's a true fan? There are people on your Instagram lives. There are people that literally comment back when you ask them. There are people that buy your product when you say swipe up. It's the people that move when you say. Not just a like, not just a comment, they take action. They listen to you and they actually value your words and thoughts. This is a hard number to interpret. As long as you know the range, it's it's a good amount. A lot of people do think that their likes and followers are true fans. That's not the case. True fans are people that will literally cut their arm off to meet you. And the way you measure that is the average amount of people that really circulate and listen to you, money and listen to what you say and per product. Say to the end, I'm gonna teach you guys how to really find your true fans, but I kind of want to lay out the formula first, you know. So what you do is take the KPI, you multiply it by the average customer. Value. Go on the company's website you want to work with, whether it's like Nike, Lululemon. How much they charge per product? Is it $10 per bottle? Is it $5 per shirt? It's more valuable to them. They're a bigger company. The value part is this. ACT stands for sales they make over orders. So how many orders are they gonna make in the value of the lifetime? Or is it gonna be a subscription model? So every month they buy it, therefore you can multiply it by 12 for a year subscription. There's more value if your customer has a longevity. Now, you don't actually have to do this much math. I would just start with the average cost 
But if you really want to go in depth, add the value piece and you can charge a lot more. Social Blue Book is not going to do this for you. Now you want to take whatever that number is and divide it over 10. Because what you're doing is the number of true fans times the number of sales you generate equals how much total sales you're going to bring. But Keep in mind, there's gonna be fees. They have to create the product. So the only way, a really healthy range for a brand to say yes, for it to make sense economically, is over 10. Because most marketing budgets are 10% of the revenue. So that means if you have 10 true fans and the product costs 100 bucks for maybe a longevity of a year, 10 times, you know, you know that's $1,000 you can charge up to. Divide it over 10, you can now charge around $100. You wanna make a range, say 50 to 150. When you put yourself in a range, instead of saying your starting fee, you get people to be curious and work with the brand and kind of collaborate on what they can afford. You actually are gonna help the brand. The brand needs you. So why don't you help the brand? A lot of people think I need the brand. No, it's the opposite. As an influencer, the brand needs you to be an affiliate, to be an advocate of the product. That was a lot of work. I hope this was helpful. It's very short. Now, I wanna show you guys, I use this strategy in conjunction with my DM script. I posted this DM script a while back on my YouTube channel, but you guys have been using it and getting results. Check out you guys. This works, it's just a number game. If you have someone or a brand that says you're too expensive and you do the math for them and you use the script, you gotta fucking move on. The way this works and the reason why you can get the deal is because it's a numbers game. You don't wanna just narrow down to one company you wanna work with. That's not how it works. That's not how you're gonna pay the bills. You wanna actually work with a lot of people. Have your PR list Full. get a lot of people and get a lot of options you never want to depend on one person to grow your brand if you want this influencer guide I actually made a PDF version of it all you got to do is click the link below there's gonna be a Facebook messenger exclusive chat where I will send it to you and my team will respond if you have questions now the way this is gonna work is you're gonna select your free training it's absolutely free and then you can go select the one you want which is gonna be more sale and make sure you just check out the description box if you like one-on-one -on -one coaching I do help influencers one-on-one -on -one. just let me know what you need and I'm so thankful you're here. I'm finally bringing light to the subject because no one's freaking doing it right. It's telling everyone to use this website, to guess, to estimate. No, honey, you're worth so much. You'll be so much more valuable to a company. Not because you're making money off of them, it's because you care about your true fans. Now, if you want to learn how to make true fans, I will link a video how to get followers and bring the real community in. That will be in the description. That will be in the description box. But for now, that was my video for today. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, all you gotta do is comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I love you guys so much. Literally, I'm working on so many things, and you guys freaking rock. I love you guys so so much. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>